All right, so here we are with Grixis Singletron. Um, still have this Gaia's Blessing because of persistent persisteners. Uh, the Gaia's Blessing devious cover up. If we draw it and can shuffle it back in with this in time. Um, and these are the two green sources. I had a breeding pool, but I guess we can just do get away with these if we wind up having to cast the Gaia's Blessing and able to shuffle it in. That's kind of a stretch, but can happen. Um, anything else crazy? Not really. Got the invert invent. I like the tutor effect. I think there's time for it. Get an instant and a sorcery to your hand. Six mana. Um, not too different from the Soul Tide version. Except instead of green, there's just some powerful red cards. Niv Mizzet, Angrath, Rael, Star of Extinction, Captive Audience. Uh, Kindling Phoenix is huge. The Devil's huge. Theater's good. Um, Especially if it stays in play for a while, and you can just amass cards under it, and then start paying four to essentially turn it on for the turn if you don't have a way to deal damage. And yeah, let's do it. Let us do it. it took me forever to figure out. I was at like 75 cards for the longest time. Whoops, for the longest time, till I finally shaved some cards that kind of wish I could play, but had to make a choice. I could go over 60 cards, but. Uh, I feel like I'm just putting myself into at a uh, disadvantage at that point. Kledge, Kledge. If that is an L and not an I. All right, this isn't bad actually. All right. Hopefully, this isn't some sort of insane aggressive strategy we can uh, do things oh they'll probably take well they have to take uh, cast down here that's uh, kind of fine it's kind of one for one I mean it is it does deal damage to us but it's uh, just it's just a one two it's more important be that they've actually seen our entire hand is kind of like the, the worst part of that dire fleet not Dire Fleet, uh, Kite Cell. Alright, this is Death and Taxes. This is, this is. Got a Swamp under there, huh? Um, could steal this Kite Sail, actually. They don't have an answer to it, that's hilarious. They are running things out in the face of Hostage Taker. I don't really know why. I kind of want the Tithe Taker, though, actually. I don't really care about the Kite Sail Freebooter. I kind of want that card. It means I can kind of do things a bit better on our opponent's turn, although this doesn't seem like the matchup for uh, that kind of play. I'm going to assume they have a removal spell anyways, because otherwise it, it would be kind of strange to play stuff in the face of a hostage taker, unless you can go around it. Might be able to. Nope, didn't think so. That's absolutely not surprising at all. Yawgmoth's Vile Offering. Um, alright, so Wisconta and Rupture Spire? Okay. So there's some sort of token strategy in this, and it probably is relevant enough, like there's enough token strategy cards in here to... No, I kind of want to play this this turn, actually, yeah. Oh, no, I can't. I was going to say I wanted to play it, so I'm going to make it so I can't get stolen by this thing, but <laughs> can't keep it on top if that's the case. Um, That's unfortunate. I guess I'll just... I can't kill the Kite Sail, because now it has a bodyguard. I guess I'll just run this out. It stops the Kite Sail in its tracks. And I don't think they're going to chump block, so... Hopefully they don't have a token generator, or we probably just lose immediately. Oh. Great. The one of History of Banalio. What do you know? I 
Actually, they let me hit them with this? No, I can't play like that anymore. Well, maybe I can. If not, I'm going to bedevil that, cast down that. Alright, no, I can't do that. Bedevil, um, freebooter. Well, I wish I could have it, but uh, Theater's going to gobble it up. That is unfortunate. Let's take this. Let's kill this. Because we, I mean, they have afterlife, and that means they turn into 4 4s and they die. And that obviously doesn't help our cause at all. Can this go to not face? It can't go to not face. Uh. Well, that's unfortunate. That is yet again another card we'd want to draw. Now we're actually just dead. We wanted that land so we could draw Niv Mizzet. Wow, that's that's really annoying. It's like we got killed by our own card. Really? Wow, that's so stupid. Theater of Horrors just stole the cards we needed to win. Like we could have cast Niv Mizzet and kind of survived? I mean, they would have turned into 4-4s, four but that's that's so annoying. Well, those two cards don't work very well together. I still think they're both extremely powerful, and I think they both belong in the deck still. Let's not play against a uh, mindless aggro deck, please. Okay, well we have the guy's blessing in hand. Also, the rest of the hand isn't too good. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is uh way better. I don't know, Black Minna. So yeah. And we don't know if that'll be good anyways. I'm gonna see most people are playing creature decks. Turn 4 Nicol Bolas and turn 5 Tezzeret's pretty powerful. Is this mono green? Yeah. I don't even know if Mono Green can kill this. They get rid of the End Rays Forerunners? Okay. Well, if they swing, it's it's an obvious combat trick. Okay, yeah, they probably just had no answer to Nickel Bulls, and that would probably just solo them. Alright. Well, that's the price you pay for being a monocolored deck. You uh, restrict yourself to one kind of card type, really. You can't, you know, no counter spells, no real removal, just big creatures, maybe some card draw, maybe some life gain. Oh, we got the red mana, so I guess I'll keep it. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what's going on. Oh, persistent position. It's nice. All right, well, we're gonna take uh, discovery. Um, I guess this kills one of them, but that's not even that relevant. Uh, the guy's blessing means they have to kill us with damage, which is totally possible. Uh, play a this line so we can run this out. We also have the Devious cover up just in case we ever draw Gaia's Blessing. Yep, 
They don't even swing. Whoa, they're sending a message. I like it. Wisconsin will also immediately flip, which is hilarious. Well, almost. Man, they're really not swinging. Uh, we have one red source, and uh, I think we can do better than that. So now we can uh, contempt one of these so they can't do the thing with the stuff. That's not too unreasonable. But I don't really care. Alright, I'm going to let this resolve so they do mill us. So we do get the Esconza flip. And uh, I still get to kill one of these. Because I, I almost... This is like one of the times where you actually do want them to activate the thing. So I can flip Esconza. Maybe. If I hit Gaia's Blessing, I guess I can't, actually. And we didn't. So, easy flip on Ascanta. Also, Beacon Bolt is um, insane now. Uh, I guess I'll just pass, though. I mean, they don't seem interested in swinging. In, well, they were stuck on two mana, so they're just going to do that again. Let us... Is there anything in here we want to shuffle? No. Kind of want to hold on to this just in case I ever find Gaius Blessing, actually, what am I talking about? That resets the board, but... One, two, three... <laughs> We're doing this. They have 24 mil on board, end step, and then untap, so... Little does our opponent know that going down to four could be sketchy. They might even just give us the zombies, actually. They have a bunch of one threes, and uh, they could just be sketched out going down to four. I did just play a red source. Uh, no guy's blessing rip. If guy's blessing is drawn, I'm going to be real upset. Because I don't have a green source. Yeah, they uh, did give us the thing. All right, so now they have lethal. They just mill mill, so they're going to be doing that. And then they're going to find out that's not going to work. And I also want to cast Beacon Bolt because it goes back in the deck. And it, I don't have too many removal spells. So shuffling them all in means I'm more likely to keep drawing them. This does... I can't do it again, but uh, I really don't want to get rid of Devious cover-up, so... I guess it would have been fine to swing, but they have to set their life to four so that the damage wouldn't do anything before we even care about these tokens. Oh, there it is! Yeah! Awesome. They pitch their whole hand. <laughs> yes, yes. They do have the uh, zombies on lock, though, which is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, yes. Got him. I love it. Just the tech. It's it's not super likely you draw it. I mean, there's only one copy of it. And it's not the end of the world if you draw it. Alright. Um, well, Guy's Blessing's not in hand. This hand is pretty solid against any creature-based nonsense. So, I guess I will keep it. Just needs one land. We've also been on the play, like, forever. I thought I was about to get the rest. Like, really? Um, let's get a mountain. 
I do need an island, but I need a mountain first, I, I suppose. Is this mono black? Okay, well, sure. I suppose that, uh, that is possible. Well, there's some black cards you can't play if you're playing mono black. Probably sleepers, because, you know, win with creatures. Looks like that is, in fact, the case. That's, uh, weird. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, this is a spot where Karn is safe. But Karn would even be more safe if I ran this out first, I guess. It means they can't do anything next turn. And then the board is completely uh, clear. Yeah. There's no way they can get this off the board. They can play an artifact creature, because this doesn't kill artifact creatures. But uh, that doesn't seem likely. They could play Karn. Let them win? <laughs> I don't think they're at a disadvantage. They can have a game to play. I don't know what's in their deck. It could be a boat. It could be a plane. Actually, it could literally be a boat. I think there's a giant boat in this uh, game. Um... Karn. Oh no, we lost the Gaia's Blessing. I guess this is the one matchup we don't want it in our hand or deck. So I guess it's fine. Actually, that's funny. Because we're probably not going to need it. I mean, we could eventually shuffle in some like sweepers that would wind up being important. This card is just so good, it just stops your opponent from doing things for a turn. Like Doomsayer. And Hearthstone. Recover? Okay. They recovered a, a weird one. This one doesn't apply pressure to... Um, Karn. And also requires a mana invest in... Uh, invest in investment so uh, I don't know that's a, that's a strange decision I don't think I'm interested in the token strategy I just need lands and it's very likely we keep getting lands hopefully they give us the tapped one I kinda need more uh, I guess I don't actually need more of any color so that's not bad yeah I guess we did want the other land of the two because we can't play this one right now which is fine we can function on five mana our deck stops at 6 mana, so... Oh, we have like 2 7 mana cards, actually. One that we will not cast, because it'll blow up our Planeswalkers. And the other is a great. Just have to find it. Oh no, what is this? Don't, don't you mouse over my Planeswalker. Grass is Contempt? Also, I just realized Karn tokens play really well with um, Tesseret tokens, don't they? Look at that. What does this do? Explore, lifelink, six mana. Oof. Okay, what they keep on top? Uh, target opponent loses a life for each vampire you control, which is two. Or I guess it'd be three, because that is a vampire itself. Yep, I think I'm just going to go on the token strategy here. It does help them with what I would assume to be a bunch of removal spells in their hand. Let's do this. I don't know why I tapped it first. I wanted to be fancy. Let's uh, mess up their hand. Plus two, plus two, and lifelink. Yikes. Alright, let's take the removal spell. Don't think I need that. Fortunately, I kind of tapped a little bad for the uh, cast down there. But this is, I mean, we can still chump block this. I think we're going to ultimate tether at this game, actually. Steal three life. Oh, it doesn't steal it. We just lose it. I gotcha. I gotcha. Mark of the Vampire. Probably you can put it on this Neonate, but... 
If that was the case, I think they would have picked up this card first to put the mark on there. Oh, sweet. Um, more tokens. They also just didn't swing. I don't think I was going to offer up the trade, so... I was definitely just going to chump block. Because now we can just trade with a single token. Actually, it's not even a trade. Look at that. And Angrath. We did draw all the Planeswalkers. And we have a cast down. Guess I'll just make our opponent discard. This is uh, what we call an uphill battle for our opponent. I don't think it's necessary to swing. I just want the Tezzeret ultimate so I can just start cheating out my entire deck. I almost don't want to cast cast down because I don't want them to scoop. Sweet, they didn't make me. All right, uh, plus. Might be smarter to just keep making Tezzeret tokens, but uh, that's not very fun. We have the city's blessing because well, we have a lot of tokens, so let's cast that. Rupture spire. Sure. Tap uh, the mountain and pass. They did not activate Neonate. Alright, Tezzeret Ultimate. Nice. Chemisters is exiled, but it's exiled the wrong way. Um, can this unexile it? No, because it has to have the silver counter thing on it. I think I'm gonna steal this neonate just for the just for the lulls. I'm gonna take this because then it dies, and I don't want that to just surprise kill us. And I really don't want to waste a removal spell on it, so let's just untake that life. Do that, and I guess it's safe to leave up cast down. Oh yeah, Tesseret's ultimate. Right, I was about to just graze right through it. Um. Oh, captive. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I guess you can do that. I didn't even think of that. Just take the captive audience. Set their life total to. Well, they can't set their life total to four. They can just discard the hand they totally have. Then go to four. Or probably just give us zombies first. Store creature, we take two. I can send a message and cast it down. No. Another planeswalker. Alright. Um. Does, no, the minus doesn't actually kill either of these, so... And I don't think I need any more life. I do want that chemistry, though. Actually, you know what? I kind of want the Gaia's Blessing. Let's shuffle in some of this stuff that I would like to get back. Being this, this, and probably that. Nice. Alright, um... Actually, Rouse the Wreck. Minus does kill one of these. Yeah, let's do that. It's only... Th oh, no, it does. It's only three? Ugh. Um, oh, I can make it four. I don't think there's any way our opponent... I don't think our opponent has any reach, actually. So, I think going on a seven is fine. Alright, now it's four. Let's get rid of this... No reason to attack yet, because they're going to set their life total to 4. Oh yeah, we get to do this again. Jeez. 
Um, shuffle this back in. Combo. Tezzeret can get himself? I mean... <laughs> I forgot about that. We did shuffle it in. That's hilarious. Tezzeret found himself. There's only one copy of him. Between the, all that lifelink, don't even think I could have killed my opponent with the flyers in time. Ooh, well, they guess they did have some reach that they could have drawn. We have four planeswalkers. Okay, wait. No, we can just we can just minus this and kill them. Let's see. They take that. They take eight plus fourteen is twenty-six. Okay, yeah, they're dead even if I don't take this, but I guess I'll just take it to... To... Yeah, let's just do that. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> Jeez. It was a lot of creatures, and a lot of planeswalkers, and a lot of value in hand. That's what that was. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. All right. Well, what did we lose to? We lost to that black white. I have my one Bendelish Marshall in my hand deck. Yeah, that's what we lost to. We lost. No, we lost to our own theater of horrors. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Not a very good showing of the card so far, but I, I still like the card a lot. Ooh, I'm cool to test this one out, but I mean. We have to get there. We do have a sweeper and a Ralzarek to follow it up, maybe. So that's probably good enough. If we don't get hit with a discard spell. Oh, you know what else is a good card? Um, Jaya Ballard. I don't even think I own one. I really like Jaya Ballard. And I have it in my commander deck. Okay. Well, this looks like mono green. Hopefully it's not a stupid opener though okay well this is almost as good as it gets I guess this could be a steel leaf champion and that would be ever so better ever so slightly better also this didn't grow oh these linear strategies are so boring they also could have a potential answer to this scriptures in Vivian Reed but uh, there's only one of them bristling boar okay Alright, well, if they kill the scriptures, we're dead. If they don't, we can play magic. Don't read it. Don't you dare read this card. Don't you dare play Vivian Reed. Okay, wait, what? What? Uh, don't... Our opponent read it. I think they read the card. It's not going to work out in their favor there. Okay... I'll take it. Interesting decision. They did read it. Oh, we're taking the ritual set so we can still stay alive here. I was really, really hoping they weren't going to cast that card. Well, our opponent literally drew the nuts. So, can I make two artifacts? Nope. To like block enough damage, fire, fire doesn't cut it. Really? Come on. Um, one minute away from Star of Extinction, and we're dead to this. I can make a token, and then it only blocks one damage. Ritual Slit doesn't do anything. I can't find anything. I can't turn this. I can't swap it. I can't make a second artifact with Karn. I can look for something with Karn, but I don't know what it could be. Wow, cool. Opponent's got talent. With the uh, turn six Carnish turret. Okay, well, that was dumb. Eh, I'm going again. We're doing again. Bonus round. I'd like to not get totally destroyed by complete and utter ridiculous openers. 
At least they didn't have Vivian Reed, so I can't be too upset. If they had Vivian Reed, I'd be upset. But Carnage Tyrant, uh, I mean, it could have been a, a a fair amount of massive creatures that we would have had no answer to in that spot. It just happened to be like the best one possible. Right on turn six. I'm gonna keep this because we're on the draw and we have a cast down. And our opponent's down to six. Uh, what? Okay. Looks like they're about to pass with no land drop. That would have been, um, weird. Mono red, maybe. They have definite burn in hand because they're auto yielding. Lightning striker shock. Okay. It's not as lame as I thought it was. That's pretty cool. Still not doing anything. I'm very curious. They keep mousing over their hand, though. Multicolored. Okay. Guess I'll play the Twilight Prophet. Not really doing anything else. Could use this to find lands for Tezzeret next turn. But this doesn't die to Ritual Slit, and there's no pressure yet. This makes me believe there might not be running Carnage Tyrant. We're kind of far away from the city's blessing. Okay. Conspicuous passing. Really need to hit a land. I'm going to swing first, though. I really don't think they're going to dump two burn spells into this, so. Unless they have, like, a plummet or something, they're just probably going to take two. Really need to hit a land. Nice. Also, most of the things we're doing can be done. Sorcery speed anyways, no reason to just not tap out. Which is a benefit of not running counter spells, because then I can just Okay. Attacks, exile the top card of each player's library, and then you can cast them. Let's uh Is that a legendary? Yeah. I wanna keep contempt in hand still, I think, so I think I'm just gonna murder that thing. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Leave up cast down. They do have monocolored creatures, so... This isn't, like, all in on this guild pact thing. So there probably is Carnage Tyrant. In fact, I'd, just, I'd say every single green card has... Uh, green card, green deck has a uh, white Carnage Tyrant. They are going to double up on the burn. Okay. That is a very good trade for us. And it's two of the better burn spells. So, uh, to is safe. This you were foolish to come. Also, this is kind of better than Eldritch Reborn, because of the immediate impact. Can just steal their, uh, uh, what you might call it, giant dragon thing. And I, I mean, I don't think I'm going to kill this with it, so I guess we're just not going to cast it. Although, I mean, getting that in play is pretty good. Though, unless I, I really just want to defend myself against Carnage Tyrant and Act of Treason. Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't steal the dinosaur. Whoa. Sure. That's, uh... 
I was unexpected. Alright, we're gonna get a black source, probably. Yeah. Well, yeah. Got a lot of black in the hand there. Maybe I did want a blue, actually, because mission briefing could... Yeah, maybe I did want a blue. Oh, well. Hand's probably good enough, anyways. Um... I'm just gonna leave this token behind. And pass. I like my entire hand. I don't see myself getting rid of anything with this chemistries. Just kind of keep ticking to the Tessert Ultimate again. Win that way. It's going face? Oof. Alright, well, I'm double blocking. What's going on here? Nothing. Okay. Now, are we scared of a haste threat? No, we're not, because we have enough creatures in play to not worry about that. <clears throat> Voice keeps cracking. I don't know why. It doesn't typically crack. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, they're probably looking at the ultimate loyalty requirement or something. Mousing over my Tezzeret, making me nervous. Whoop, whoop. That's not Sulphur Falls. Kinda of just not gonna do anything. We have so much value in our hand. I pretty much have everything our opponent can do covered. There's Vivian Reed. One of the best cards in their deck, next to Carnage Tyrant and stuff, so. Good draw there. We do have the answer to it. We have the answer kind of ten times over. One of the answers included just being doing nothing. Probably don't even care about Vivian Reed at this point, but I'll still kill her. I kind of want her for myself, so I might just bedevil and then steal her. The plus isn't bad, especially with actual tokens. Like, you can tether it, make the tokens huge and indestructible. Right, what, what is this actually? Destroy one target creature, Planeswalker. Okay, we reanimate first, so we can't, like, kill this in the same spell. Also, that also wouldn't make any sense in, like, any spell ever. X damage up to X target. Uh, okay, I don't have any counter spell, so that's actually really good. What did they find? That worm that will kill yet another token? Okay, so let's kill... Let's see how Vraska is. Kill Vraska. Kill Vivian. Let's Vraska the Vivian. I can kill the worm before it fights, so I keep my token. And I'm not really doing anything else with this cast down, so... And uh, still have this Chemisters, which has no real targets. I, I kind of want to keep playing lands. Could hold on to one to get rid of this, but... Nothing really matters outside this Tezzeret Ultimate at this point, I imagine. We even have a mission briefing for, like, more nonsense. And double Beacon Bolt. Yeah, we just... Our hand is insane. I can't sort by color. The devil's messing it up. Unfortunate. What up, just lol man? There's no deck list on the stream thing, because it's broken. That's my excuse. I also don't know how to figure it out. But, uh, I will be making a YouTube video of this, so... Worry not. It'll be there. Yeah, it's annoying. I had it working once, and every time someone went... Well, no, that wasn't even a problem. I don't know. I just couldn't figure it out. I don't know. I know not. The answers. I think our opponent's gone. I don't think they handled the uh, Vrask's Contempt too well. I mean, this is huge. It almost just... Like, it, it's... It gets plus one, plus one, so it's a five, six haste, kill the token, hit Tezzeret for five. If I have nothing in hand. 
Use it for the drafts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think our opponent's gone. The whole set's almost out. Almost gonna do the card review thingy. Thingy ma booper. I might divide it into chunks, like a video about the planeswalkers, and then a video about the mythics. Well, no, I mean, a lot of the. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see what the last cards are. Yep, our opponent's gone. That's unfortunate. Couldn't even scoop. It's been a while since someone just wrote Conceited. I haven't seen that in a hot minute. I guess because I play a lot of ladder. And people want to just keep playing games so they don't just walk away like that. I think the last one's, um... The last one's come out... Probably within the next seven days, I had to assume. Usually, they're out at least kind of a week or two before the set actually comes out. I'm not too sure. Never really paid much attention to it before, so... But yeah, I... There's a lot of commons and uncommons. I have nothing to say about them. And I just can't... Pack filler, pack filler, pack filler. Scrolling through the whole thing. I can't remember if I said hello. I'm saying it again. Blue, green. Oh, look. The most powerful thing ever. Um, Don't care about this thing. Don't care about that thing. Don't really care about Lyra, so let's just take that. Uh, we want this land. I guess we don't. We have a Thief of Sandy, and they have no way to answer it. Wow, we have a turn three Thief. Oh, jeez. Opponent's going to feel the burn here. What does this do? For each color? Okay, so this actually can be a 3-3. Three, three. So I actually have to kill it after I play Thief with Fight with Fire, so I can't kill the Thief. So they had an answer. And they have another one in the Lyra, but that's uh, still kind of far away. Oh, they don't even go for this thing. Oh, wait, no, it can be a 2 2. It can be a 2 2, and those still work, actually. They just don't do it, though. Okay, I didn't expect that. I think you want to kill Thief as quickly as possible. Fine finality means I can kind of just let this kill itself to kill Thief here and probably be fine. There's a lot of uncommon planeswalkers too, so draft is going to be a wild ride. All right, they can still make this a two mana thing. Looks like they're trying to go for that like max value, but uh, the problem with doing that is we're getting more than max value because we're just stealing their stuff, which is just really good here. Like that's actually a good card, and kind of want one for myself. But uh, why put one in your deck when you can just steal it? Oh yeah, this draft is going to be way dear. It's going to be just to stand out. Just draw, just pull um, Nickel Bolas every single time and just win because he's on the face of the whole set. Okay, they're going for Lyra. I guess I'll use the instant speed removal spell. I kind of, I'm going to hold on to Fight with Fire. There's a chance Fight with Fire does something else. Is that six plus, it's nine mana though. Have we milled anything that we want to steal with Dire Fleet? No. So we will swing. Opponent is not respecting the thief. Could have went for this to kill it. I definitely would have done that. Put a historic permanent from your hand. Okay. Well, I don't have any, but... Let's draw a card. No, I guess I do now. That's hilarious. Alright, so let's run this out. I can... Angrath for four mana now? No benefit at instant speed, but... Give... Yeah, I'll probably do the same. Do like a... I'll do a percentage thing. Well, like, yeah, it's a, it's an 85% good card. That way I can be less wrong when I'm terribly wrong. Okay, well, easy fight with fire here. Um, four mana Ingrath. Boop. I guess I should have swung first. Actually, maybe I would have found something that would have would have been better. Now this thief has given us some value, but not too too much value. 
Oh, jeez. Alright, I take that back. Let's take that. Not only did they lose Kaya, they lost Tezzeret as well. And we gained Tezzeret. Alright, now Thiepistani's been insane. Which I guess is what he does, right? He steals the sanity. Gilded Lotus. Okay. Beard. Beard. So I have to pay one to swing? Sure. I can, uh, I can do that. Oh no, we drew the guy's blessing. No steel. Rip. They discard Kaya's Wrath? Okay, uh, sure. They really do not care about this Thief of Sanity. I... I don't know how I feel about this. Um, fortunately this does not bring these into play. I think I'm just gonna run out Tezzeret though. I feel like I have Tezzeret every game, and apparently I don't even have to be the one to own the Tezzeret. Okay. Anything for Dire Fleet to target yet? Definitely not Kaya's Wrath. Definitely not the other sweepers, so I guess not. Finally found an answer to Thief Sanity. Just barely two, because it only had two. If I stole one of those, I could have taken that off the board there. Can steal this with... Angrath and kill Ral? Might have to do that. What is... Domri could... Alright, we're playing this. I might just zero this. No, I think the ultimate, just going towards the ultimate's better, so let's do that. I am going to kill Ral's direct, though. That's card advantage I don't want to deal with. Also, Angrath just kills that this thing, whatever it is, return this from your graveyard. They can keep getting it back, though. It is a thing they can do. Domri also doesn't actually do anything. So I'll just keep upticking Domri to get to the ultimate, which just then gives us 4-4s four all the time. Dragon die with it. Um, I'm gonna assume... Oh, whoops. Uh, can we use this man for other things? Oh, we can. Okay. See that then. I already played a land. Can I actually pick up this again. There's not many things I'm doing with... Well, I mean, I can't cast whatever I pick up immediately, so there's really no point in doing that right now. Yeah, let's pass. Okay. With Riot, you can make this even larger. But this is this is just so slow. Yeah, that card is just so ridiculously slow. They just gave us Thief of Sanity for way, way, way too long. At least they didn't attempt to kill it. We had the answers to their attempts if they went for them, but uh, you, you should probably you should probably go for them. That's a cool card. You can't let Thief of Sanity hit you like that's like our best turn three play as well. Probably one of our best cards in the whole deck. Well, if it doesn't die. Same with Nicol Bolas, I suppose, would be another must-answer threat. Although not immediately, because it costs 7 to flip. But it is, it's almost always value, Nicol Bolas, because they have to discard a card. Goo C. Okay, I'll keep this. Discard, Ralzarak, Chemisters. That's fine. Not mana screwed, not color screwed. Hopefully this isn't mono red. And if it is, hopefully it's not a turn two lightning mare. Alright, sweet. It's neither of those things. It's dinosaurs. I'm gonna kill this because dinosaurs suddenly cost less. I don't want to get hit with a really good four drop. Oh, this is Naya. Nyasaurus. Spellbreaker? Okay, first time I've seen that. Pretty good card, too. Um, let's play a Locket. A Locket. And then we cannot Rouserek this. Can Vraska's Contempt it, I guess. Okay, that was, uh... Not what I expected. I'm just going to contempt the um, Spellbreaker. Yeah. 
So we have two instants and sorceries? This can be the third one? Oh, come on. Really? Okay, well... I guess people like their... fun... Kill you really quick cards. I guess I could just beacon bolt that twice. Oh no, I can't. Oh yes, I can. Because I can discard. Um... I can discard a uh, chemistry's to the second half. Oh, that's not even good enough. Because it'll. It's three? Well, I don't actually... Wait, how does this work? Discard that so it stays at three, right? Okay. Wasn't sure how the how that worked. But it, it, uh, it worked. Guess we're still alive. Cinder vines? Okay, well we can beat that. And we can Rouserek minus, and I think it is for three. Because we have uh, three instances of sorceries. Yes, alright. Oh, Bedevil was a little bit better, but uh, I think I'm going to cast Rouserek. Yeah, it's just, they kind of do the same thing, except this one costs more. And if they don't immediately kill it, we can probably incur some sort of value and not die. Now, there's a problem with this signet this locket, they can just cinder vines it, put us to one. I kind of hope they don't do that. I kind of want to crack this locket so they can't blow it up and put us to two, or put us to one. I have to do that before I do anything. Oh, we're just dead to a haste threat. Cool, fun. Man, these aggro decks are just not very fun to play against, I must admit. Let's go again. Health Hazard. Alright, probably an aggressive deck. And we got a Sweeper, sort of, and a Thought Eraser, so I guess I'll keep it. And we're Jace. Jace never loses. Let's play Gilgate. Um, Mono Blue? Okay, well, let's just play another Tap Land then. Interesting. Play another tap land. I don't think I want to go for a thought eraser. I don't think I'm in any rush. Oh, it's blue black. Alright, so maybe this is a wee bit different than I thought. Let's see if there's a counter spell. Devious cover-up. Alright, well, at least that's out of the game now. They can't shuffle it back in. Unless they have that, like, three mana shuffle your library back in thing. I don't even know what blue-black looks like. They got rid of Contempt Counterspell? Ooh, they're gonna regret the Contempt one. Um... I can't play... Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Alright, please don't have a Negate. Oh my god, they have a negate. Oh, it's the same strong. Alright, I'm not as upset. Um I'm gonna pass with chemistries and bedevil. They have no lands in hand. I don't think I'm in any rush to do anything. I kind of want to get this theater and play at some point. Radical idea. Okay. That's a good way to get rid of dead cards. I like that card. And get rid of a dead card, they do. There's no divination. Okay. There's no uh, Teferi. This is probably a Tezzeret, though. I'm not sure we'll find out. What do we even get rid of here? I like everything. I guess scriptures. 
Well, now, I kind of want to hit their graveyard. I think that could wind up doing something this game. Fight with fire. Okay, hostage taker is weird. Let's take. Let's get rid of that one. I don't want to get rid of a land, though I could see an argument for getting rid of the mountain. Dire fleet. I'd much prefer to hit a discard spell. Nothing really else here that we're gonna get away with. Um. All right, I. I think we're at a point where we don't need the Theater of Horror's value. And I want to see how many counter spells our opponent's playing. Kind of have all the value in our hand here. Alright, it actually resolved. I want to leave up the Devil, so I'm not going to play Gateway Plaza. Could have just played the Mountain so I had a ping on their end step. If this winds up killing them for... A 40 mana investment, which is not unreasonable. Um, let's get rid of Gateway Plaza. Don't think it's uh, that necessary anymore, especially with drawing kind of two cards a turn. All right, they're probably going to take Dire Fleet, so we can't thought erase with them back. Or they could take one of these other. I don't. Maybe Star of Extinction. Maybe it it plays here kind of. I might even just no. There's no reason to cast it next turn. I'm going to take the Dire Fleet. I would take the Dire Fleet. It's also the only actual like pressure I have in my entire hand. I'm still curious how our opponent wins the game. Don't think they're winning by decking. Well, they can, kind of. They also just didn't recast this. <clears throat> Interesting. Alright, let's run this out. What do you got for us here? Okay, some weird counter spell. I might just run out the scriptures. It means all of these cards are gone, and I'm okay with that. Also, this means uh, they can't play a creature next turn. I find it unlikely they're going to do that, but now they definitely can't. We also have, at this point, infinite theater of horrors value, kind of. It's very difficult for them to deal with this. They can bounce it. But other than that, there's not, not much in the way of answers. This also kills Planeswalkers in an uncounterable fashion. Very slowly, though. Uh... Oh, okay. Let's get rid of the token, sure. Well, um, I think of these cards, Fight with Fire is the worst. Actually, Star of Extinction is probably the worst. So I can at least do these two if they go for something crazy. They almost do the same thing. There's not many cards that pick up disinformation campaigns, so they got kind of lucky with the Thought Eraser. They have a Sinister Sabotage. A, uh, whatchamacallit there. What did I just get? Invert Invent. Okay. Um. I guess I will just run out the, uh, this thing. Unfortunately, we do not exile their graveyard in time. Well, they have a counter spell. I think they're going to cast it. Okay. Maybe just. I, I imagine there's a lot of removal spells. Have we seen any? I don't think we have. No, just contempt. Flipping a Skata is annoying, but uh, unless they go infinite, I really don't think I care about a Skata. Um, apparently you can play Nexus of Fate, and I didn't know this. What? I thought that was banned. Well, they can go infinite, and this game is dumb now. And I've been not playing Nexus of Fate this entire time. That's dumb. 
and well now they can go infinite so now we just have to find out how they're actually winning the game you can really play next to fate in this are you serious really This is Singleton. The Singleton event. We got rid of Devious Cover Up, so maybe they can't go infinite now. Um, I'm one mana off from being able to uh, do anything cool with this here. Mission briefing doesn't really do anything. Uh, yep, I don't really have anything to do, so I guess I'll just ping our opponent twice. And they've picked up disinformation campaign again. How did they do that? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Oh, this thing, Price of Flame. Yeah, that's that's kind of stupid. Oh, it's only your turn. You get to play the cards. I didn't even realize that. So I'll run out the locket. Didn't get anything off the Ascanta. Oh, there's their win condition, probably. I have no answer to it. Well, I have two in my hand, but there's no way they would cast this if they didn't have a way to stop that. I guess I'll will. I'll just pass because I could play around syncopate, I guess. Well, that's a. I need a legendary in play for that to work, so. Nope. Great, cool. I can't wait to die to this. resolved. Black, black. I can crack the locket, so I guess I'll just do that. Maybe they have more kills, win conditions in their deck or something? They knew about both those removal spells, so... Well, at least this wasn't doing anything. Could have cracked the locket first, but... Eh. Oh, cool. Nexus. Great.
Okay. Murder. Apparently no counter spells left or something. I didn't counter the fight with fire. Well, Deep Stain doesn't do anything. Rekindling Phoenix. Uh what does mission briefing do? I guess we can try to kill that token. I guess. It's just very unlikely any of this is going to work. Alright, just mission briefing, um. Bedevil or something. Search for Scots is good. So was Notion Rain. Could just... Ah, uh, well, I don't know. Don't think it's Scott. I don't think we have time for these cards. Guess we can line them up like this, though. Seems kind of harmless. Let's just do that. Pick up... Uh, I mean, we can't play around Syncopate, so... Fire Fire just kind of doesn't do anything. Other than this. Okay. They discard the murder. They do have syncopate. Just trying to find their second wing edition. I'm going to assume it's Tezzeret. Or Eldest Reborn. That does it too. Don't think I have any answers to that one. Can we get, uh... Hmm. I don't even know what to do. I kind of forgot the theater, again, messes up my surveil. Would have put the Ascanta under here first, probably, so I could cast a Notion Rain. Don't think it matters anyways. I can cast two creatures, and then they just do the stupid Nexus thing. And then they take, um, hostage? No, they take nickel bullets or something? It doesn't, well, they, well, actually, they should probably just take Tezzeret, actually. We gave them the Tezzeret. Um, Hmm. 
Nope. And nope. Rats Contempt, I guess, is our last hope. So we'll just pass with Contempt. Maybe we can... Well, no, not even. They have enough mana for Syncopate, so that doesn't matter. Psychic Corrosion. Alright, well that's another wing condition. What did I get this time? Captive Audience? Well, they'll probably just set their life total to four because it doesn't matter. Um, this will just cast out my hand. Captive audience doesn't do anything. I can't play around a massive syncopate stealing something. So, sure. The only... No, that doesn't work. I said the only thing we could really do is like... Um, shuffle our graveyard back in with the Gaia's Blessing so they can't steal anything but it's too late for that the Psychic Corrosion doesn't mess with us because of the uh, Gaia's Blessing but it's just the other stuff Oh, okay, well maybe we can shuffle it in now. They just milled six, maybe we hit it. Oh, we do, sweet. All right. So they can't steal anything now, unless we just mill something here, we do not. So now they can only get um, Mystic, which is probably still good enough. I guess it really doesn't matter what they get. Can I play around Nexus? Four. Nope. Sphinx of Foresight? Can I play around Nexus? I mean, uh, Syncopate, sorry. I guess I can now, but now there's a 4-4 in play, so it doesn't really matter what I kill. They have another win condition. <laughs> oh, blink of an eye. Cool. Ten cards, draw, scry, look at four. Can they even miss on Nexus? I don't think so. Nope. Dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb, dumb. Should not be allowed to play Nexus. In fact, I was so certain you couldn't, I didn't even give it a, a, a try. Because I... They banned it in best of one. I don't see why it wouldn't be banned in this best of one. It's not like it's any more or less degenerate as a stupid card. Well, that's what I'm doing tomorrow then. So, if this... Wait, is this still here tomorrow? This singleton thing? There's no time limit. That's weird. 
I'm going to hope it's here tomorrow, because I want to cast Nexus of Hate on people. Well, um, it was a fun deck. I liked it kind of more than the uh, Sultai one. I felt like I could handle um, early aggressive strategies a little bit better with the red. But uh, most of it doesn't matter without Nexus, so there's that. Thanks for watching anyways, and like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Jeez.